Okay, thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Nata Pong, uh, and I will be um, introducing to you an excellent program, okay, called VSAC for you today. And uh, if you have a, a burning question, um, we have, okay, two Ajans uh, seriously answering your question in the Q&A chat box down below, okay? But before I go into details of the program, uh, I would like you to watch a clip uh, made by a group of our alumni, okay, to give you an overview of our program uh, in their perspective. Okay, let's have a look. This is the day that I have come for the enrollment to apply for BSAC of Chulalongkorn University. I have the feeling that my life is going to change from this day onwards. This is my life as a sophomore. I know that all of my skills have improved so much through active learning styles of teaching. This year, I have to select which major I would like to pursue. Wow, they even have three majors for me to choose. There's differences across these three majors. Third year now, I get to be part of ISSP project, which is such a unique project that you can never find anywhere else. I get to apply my knowledge to enhance society's well-being, to help improve their life in a better way. Now, as a senior, there is an applied chemistry project abroad. And after my return to Thailand, they hold a seminar which makes me realize that my skills and knowledge have improved so much. After my graduation, I also gain a wide range of connections through these people I knew throughout these years. Now, I'm quite confident that my soon-to-be future is going to be bright and successful, thanks to my experience that BSAC has provided me during these four years. Now, it's your choice. Okay, uh, so BSAT stands for Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, uh, or Applied Chemistry. So uh, we are from the uh, best ranked department of chemistry in Thailand. Uh, I hope that you now see what Ei went through in her four year journey in BSAC. Uh, so I'll give you a little bit more details on our highlights. Uh, first, uh, she mentioned that she had three majors to choose from in her second year. Uh, I'll give you a, a glimpse of how they are different and who they are suitable for. Uh, the first one, I'm sure you won't find a program like this anywhere else in Thailand. Uh, the Industrial Chemistry and Management Program. Uh, it is a perfect mix between chemistry and business. If you were to become an owner, director, or a manager of chemistry-related company, uh, this is a program for you, as it gives you a good solid background in science and yet fills you up on how to manage and run a business. With these courses, uh, you'll be one step closer to start a business or a startup with deep tech as a core. Equally popular in the middle, uh, materials chemistry, which is a little more convention chemistry program, uh, but we keep it on the application side while we learn deeper into materials like biopolymers, macromolecules, and colloids, 
So this program best suits uh, those who want to go into research and development or someone who plans to study further and stay in academia. And our newest program on environmental chemistry aligns with the green theme and eco-friendly trend of the world. More actions and regulations need to be implemented nowadays, so it opens up so many job opportunities for those who have an expertise uh, in advanced analytical techniques uh, and those who can manage risks of hazardous chemistry uh, or chemicals in industries. Another highlight uh, in year three, uh, voted by uh, BSAC uh, graduates to be one of their favorite courses uh, every year, is the ISSP or Interactive Science and Social Project. Um, a course uh, we adopt and partner with a Worcester Polytechnic Institute from America. Uh, in this course, uh, BSAC and WPI students will work alongside uh, to apply their scientific minds in helping a community to solve a real-life problem. They'll go through guided stages uh, and work on the project for a solid two months. Having a lot of conversations and discussions with many parties in order to come up uh, with a good possible solution or recommendations for the community to improve their situations. A variety of topics are on call every year, both in Thailand and in ASEAN countries. Uh, let's have a look at what they did in one of the projects in 2020.ปัจจุบันนี้นักเรียนมีหนึ่งร้อยยี่สิบคนนะคะน้ำที่โรงเรียนใช้อยู่เนี่ยค่ะมาจากน้ำประปาภูเขาต้นน้ำบ้านผาจ
ได้เห็นวิธีการและมุมมองหรือว่าแนวคิดของน้องๆที่อาจจะมีประสบการณ์อย่างอื่นอย่างเช่นในเรื่องของเคมีก็ดีซึ่งจะมาช่วยเติมเต็มให้เรานะครับจากที่น้องๆมาช่วยทดสอบให้เนี่ยค่าน้ําของโรงเรียนตชดบมูที่87เนี่ยอยู่ในเกณฑ์ที่มาตรฐานสามารถบริโภคได้นะครับโรงเรียนอื่นเขาเห็นก็อยากไปทำํำเราก็รู้สึกว่าโรงเรียนเราโชคดีนะคะที่มีคณะวิจัยมาทํางานมีคนมาให้ความรู้คอแล้วก็ดีใจมากค่ะขอบคุณพอมีหน่วยงานเข้ามาช่วยเหลืออย่างเงี้ยผมรู้สึกดีใจแทนน้องๆนักเรียนเป็นอย่างมากครับถ้าเรามีสุขภาพดีมีโภชนาการที่ดีดื่มน้ําสะอาดมีร่างกายที่ดีนะครับเราก็พร้อมที่จะรับความรู้ต่างๆนะครับ Working for them and like helping my teammates like succeed in creating potable water for them taught me so much about like communication skills, learning how to interact with others. I'm learning so much about Thai culture and society as well, which is really incredible. My name is p u n u n u t e n h a m a k u n I'm from uh, BSEC and I'm third year student. Before working on this project, I wasn't sure if I was on the right track. I'm okay with science. I don't like it, but I don't hate it. But this project has changed my perspective. The experiences have allowed me to step out into the real world. I mean, the real world, unlike sitting in the classroom taking lectures. I have learned the new purpose of meaningful living by sharing simple things like clean water to others who need it. Okay, so that's uh, one of our example of the projects. Uh, of course, uh, for these uh, projects to be a success, we have to really thank our sponsors who support uh, both in the projects and financially. Uh, example of 2020 uh, are shown here. Uh, many many companies, organizations, and NGOs, uh, both in Thailand and overseas, that we have uh, maintained a good partnership with. Uh, our example uh, in the clip may look to be a very scientific one for you, uh, but actually, some of the projects may base heavily uh, on the business side or technology as well. So, uh, like an example shown in this slide. Okay, so another highlight for us is the uh, in the final year, uh, students have to work on a chemistry project uh, for one full semester. That means uh, they have an opportunity. To spend up to six months, including the summer, abroad uh, in a laboratory or an institute that our professors have good research connection with, all over the world. Okay, including Japan, Europe, and America. Um, let's hear from one of the host professors uh, for an ACP project. During the past uh, seven, eight years, I have had students from uh, Chula l o n g k o r n a chemistry department, and uh, I have to say that I'm very happy and very excited to train these very bright students. And they usually work very hard, and they are excellent in uh, lab work. Uh, but most important, they learn a lot. Uh, in uh, different areas in the lab, they, they learn uh, chemistry, they learn biology. They get to try different instruments. Like for example, uh, my students are learning to run LCMS, NMR, 
and to do different uh, biological assays in the lab. And so they also uh, present their data uh, during our lab meetings. They have a PowerPoint presentations. And essentially, I treat, the, treat them equally with their postdocs. And uh, so all the students and postdocs, they have their own projects and they work very hard in the lab. And outside the lab, there are lots of uh, activities uh, for the students. Uh, so Michigan is one of the most beautiful states. We have 1,000 lakes. And it's very green here. Is uh, Ann Arbor is a small town, but. Uh, there are many, many, many places for students that can visit. And also, uh, outside Michigan, there are other major cities, of course, the students can visit uh, very uh, easily with train or with bus. And overall, uh, is a fantastic uh, cultural experience they learn american culture and uh, not only that but uh, most of the students in in the lab are from many different countries so our students from chula van corn they get to uh, meet them talk with them and they learn about all those international students we have So this is really a fantastic experience for the students to uh, make friends. Um, they go uh, different places together, they go to different restaurants. We have many, many restaurants uh, in Ann Arbor. Uh, so it's really a fantastic cultural experience. And they also uh, practice their English uh, speaking and writing uh, presentation. Thank you very much. Okay, so that should be a very good, uh, fun experience for the students. And uh, although students uh, may spend only a short period of time uh, in uh, another university, but sometimes working in those uh, world-class competitive environment, they can sometimes achieve so much. Uh, for example, Sukulaya here, who went to work at Kansai University in Japan, uh, managed to get a publication in a high quality journal. And uh, she also won many presentation awards, uh, both at the faculty and national levels. Okay, so uh, if I conclude uh, what you get from BZAC here, in the first year, you will get a basic science knowledge from the foundation courses in mathematics and science. Then uh, going deeper, into core chemistry courses in the second year. And after you have that solid chemistry background, you will choose the options from the three different tracks provided, uh, provided in the three majors. Apart from the specialized knowledge 
that we give you uh, in the third year, uh, we add on important soft skills uh, for you to be successful at work in uh, the 21st century uh, with the uh, special course called ISSP. And in your final year, uh, there will be a, an opportunity to have an experience abroad uh, to work on chemistry project. And also classes like seminars will get you up to date with current situations in industries and global trends. Right, uh, if you are interested, then what you need now is only three tests on chemistry, mathematics, and English. Then you can file in your application form. If your scores pass the requirement, uh, you will be called for an interview, uh, then you can become a BSAC student. Okay, that easy. And if you won't make it to the round one application period this Monday, uh, don't worry. Uh, we'll open another round in March, but the exact date uh, will be announced later on. And I would like you to know that a few candidates uh, with top scores uh, will also be offered uh, either a full or half scholarship. Uh, and this opportunity continues in higher years as well uh, for best scorers in GPACs, okay, as the program offers more than 30 scholarships a year. Um, those who are excellent outside the academic world also have that chance, and these scholarships are open to both Thai students and foreigners. So uh, here's the list of our accepted tests and requirements. More details can be found in our website, okay, down below, bsat.chemcu.org. And to keep you up to date, uh, please like our Facebook page, and we will keep you posted of any important events. And if you have any issue that you want to discuss, uh, feel free to call our office. Uh, however, during this COVID period, uh, reaching us via mobile phone or messages on Facebook may be the best options. Okay, thank you very much for listening to me. And I have um, not much to say apart from please join us and become a part of our BSAC family. Uh, and you can see in the picture here, we have just had a reunion for the uh, 15th anniversary uh, in 2019. So our program has really been well established and our alumni are well connected. And okay, so now, um, I mean, actually there will be an interview but uh, with the COVID-19. So um, you've been listening to me so much for a while and now I want you to hear a direct experiences uh, from our current students and alumni. Um, as you can see, uh, they work in so many, many different fields, okay? So BSAC really opens up uh, to many doors for you uh, in terms of career paths. Uh, first, uh, let's hear from a younger generation on the right, okay, for the insights into the BSAC program. BSAC, um, we have a requirement including English, Mathematics and Science score. In English, you can use CUTEF, TOEFL, IL or SAT. Uh, in Mathematics, you can use SAT, Math and Math Subjects Taste or CUF. In Science, you can use uh, CUF and SAT Subject Taste in Chemistry. The interview part was, was actually was good. Uh, I think interview version all of your turn out to be your adjuncts later on are actually very generous. They're very patient and um, I think that was one of the topics that I think the student would still talk about now as an alumni was that they would ask you what's your favorite topics in, in chemistry. I feel like if you are a person with entrepreneur mindset, or a person who wants to continue your family business, then the industrial chemistry major is a to-go major for you. Well, for me, I ended up graduated under material science degree, but during my first year, I wanted to take an industrial management course uh, because my family has a business. I wanted to be an entrepreneur and I know myself that in the future, I wouldn't be like a hardcore research scientist. 
However, when, when I was about to finish my first year, I get to compare the course and the material science one was actually more appealing in terms of like, it allows you to differentiate yourself um, comparing to engineering students and other science students in the whole country as well. It, I think the course is actually that special. So yeah, that's why I think this would be a good background for me to know. And then maybe later on, if I really want to have a business, I still can do an MBA or other business add-ons in, in my master year. I feel like graduating from PISA makes you a very unique applicant with a very niche skill set. I have a lot of careers that are very bored and including like business fields, industrial field, or just like me, the scientist, want to be the forensic officer, and also you can do your own uh, startup in the future. What BSAC gives me um, a gift, I think, a gift to find a job was that um, how the course designed to allow you during your university year to have the opportunities outside of the classroom to, to do things. So it gives you from like opportunities where you can do thesis abroad or you have, you know, social science project with um, exchange student in the US and so on. So that's actually the golden part where a lot of recruiters are actually interested in me and also interested in a lot of my BSAC friends when they apply for international um, jobs position as well. In my opinion, the most challenging for me is the ISSP project because um, you have to use your knowledge in the classroom to apply for the real work life and also you have to adjust yourself to work with each other for achieve the goal set. When people say chemistry is hard, I would say, oh yes, I totally agree. To be more accurate, I think chemistry is hard because it's complex. But if you actually have time to sit down with it and go through why things are the way they are, you would find that chemistry is actually very logical. A lot of things, almost everything would be um, explainable. <laughs> environment of the society in BSEC make us know each other really quickly and our friend help each other get to years by years and also the supporting from the instructor that helps the student to understand easily about the knowledge that they're given and a lot of experiment that they're giving us. There's a culture of very close group of friends maybe because we are a small class there is also a culture of siblings going on. For example, I am very close to my Hun Ki and also very close to my uh, Run Nong in the same manner as I am very close to my friends in the same year. The law and BSAC is not just a class where you come here and study and go away. It's actually a community that crafts you to become who you are as a person, as a human. And it gives you that real life lesson that this is the ups and downs, this is the real disappointment, this is the real hard time you have to bounce up again. This is the sense of achievement, this is the responsibility that you have to, to cope with, have to deal with in the real world as well. And to, to teach you that life is not just about making money, it's not about good grades only, it's about making connections and those small beautiful moments that you embrace. And yeah, I think that's just amazing. Okay, so uh, hopefully uh, we demonstrate for you that our chemistry program is not just a pure chemistry and uh, that we apply to medicine, biology, uh, and even have a business side on it. Okay, so if you still have uh, questions, uh, please visit our Facebook website. Okay, so you can, uh, sorry, uh, scan the uh, QR code there. And in that Facebook, we have uh, provided infographics on the different aspects of the um, program and you can ask questions and we will try to answer our best, okay, on uh, what you have in mind. And um, that's the presentation that uh, I have for now and we have the only one last clip 
okay, from our more established uh, alumni, okay, to give you an over, uh, a view that they get from us, from the BSAC. But when I join here in BSAC, I'm pretty sure that you will know the basic of working life. This course, like for example, ISSP, well, studying BSAC, we have lots of presentation class. By doing lots of presentation, it helped me gaining my presentation skill. And that is the skill that I can apply to my current job. I highly recommend BSAC program for anybody who wants to study chemistry. This program will promote your 21st century skills. You spend a few months with the community to solve the real problem, and you learn critical thinking skills, problem solving skills, creative thinking skills, negotiation skills, and communication skills, and such. So I think this is very, very important for your career path to become successful. That not just chemistry, it's the combination of chemistry and business things. The uniqueness of BSAT, if we understand the market needs, if we know the business world so we we're gonna know what the technology the world needs so i think it's a good combination okay very good well thank you very much for your um comprehensive um you know introductions for this program so now we got a few minutes to ask um some questions to Dr. Um, to Ajahn Natapong. So the first questions, um, these those two questions are from um, our students um, from from our sessions here. So is English proficiency test important for admission or SAT set is is enough to apply? Um, the English proficiency test is one of the scores that we required. However, I think SAT English is um, one of the tests that we accept. Okay, so if you have set English, that, that will be okay. Okay, very good. So um, the next question, um, you know, they, 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 I think they probably love your project and, you know, your exchange program so much. But they have one question to ask you. Do you have to pay extra fee for special programs like um, exchanging abroad or chemistry project overseas? Um, actually, for the ISSP, um, that actually well covered by the projects and our program. Um, but for the applied chemistry project, um, we have a partial support, but then you have to support yourself on the traveling fee and also the um, living expenses as well. Okay, so we only have a partial support for that, but uh, the only requirement for those applied chemistry is that you maintain a good grade. Mm, wonderful. Well, thank you very much. And um, any final words or final thoughts about your program? So why are we going to apply for this program? So please. Yeah, for everything that I said for. So <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, we, we were not just chemistry, but uh, we mix up all the different branches and we were trying to get you not only the knowledge, but also the soft skills important for you in the 21st century. Okay, well, thank you very much, Dr. Natapong Paibu Murashad, our lecturer from the BSAC program for Faculty of Science. Thank you very okay, much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was a really great presentation for the BSAC program. And I, what I love the most is this project. It is very inspiring. You know what? How do you know that the chemistry, you're not going to do just something in the lab, but you bring the lab to the reality and try to help other people. That's what matters for this BSAC program. So everyone, if you're really interested in this, or if you happen to want to change your mind and interested in this program, make sure you check it out, BSAC website, and find out more about this information. If you could be the next BSAC alumni.